Welcome to our lecture. We start in the community section with North Bay. So, we'll learn about North Bay and what resources are available for immigrants that want to come to North Bay, Ontario, Canada, and participate in the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. So, North Bay is located in Ontario. Um, basically, it's between the cities of Toronto and Ottawa, the main cities in the province of Ontario. As you can see here in the pictures and the map, this is the position of North Bay in relation to the rest of Ontario. Okay, very close to the lake area. North Bay is a city in the northeastern Ontario, Canada, and it's the seat of the Nipissing District. It takes its name from its position on the shore of the lake Nipissing, North Bay. It's located also on the traditional territory of the Nipissing First Nation people. So. This information uh, available for uh, Wikipedia. And it's important to understand that it's a community of 51,553 based on the last survey done in 2016. Now, what is the main industry in North Bay? North Bay is uh, possess a diversified economy. It's comprised of the following priority sectors like advanced manufacturing, aviation and aerospace, education, health sciences, information, communication technology, and mining supply and service. Now let's take a look in more details about the demographic information about this city. So the city of North Bay has a population of 51,553 as we mentioned before. And here we have a graph coming from Townfolio, which is software that provides information about communities in Canada and other countries. So here you can see the household income of the city. Mainly we can see that the majority of people will be falling into the range of $60,000 to $79,000 per year as a household. And also we can see some other key metrics right here when it comes to the Total number of peaceable minorities, around 1,490. The median age of the city is 43 years old. Also, the majority of the population is going to be 51.9% of female and 48.10% of males. And the largest age cohort is going to be from people between the ages of 50 and 54, which is playing very clear the need for North Bay to try to increase the population through selected immigration, okay? If we continue here, you will see also information about the labor force by industry. And we can see, based on the graph, that the majority of the labor force are working in retail, healthcare as the main industry, and then in the uh, construction, manufacturing, accommodations and other services and education. Uh, the participation of that labor force is basically sales and services with 6,920. We have the people from business and finances with uh, another uh, big amount of 3,495 and in health 2,255. So these are basically the participation of the labor force. If you continue checking more uh, key metrics, you can see the also the participation rate of the labor market, the unemployment rate, a little higher than in Can uh, the rest of Canada before the crisis. And we can see the large industry, the largest industry is healthcare. So if you're a person that have work experience in healthcare, uh, then you know that this city have a lot of opportunity for people with that kind of background. The, also, we have opportunities when it comes to sales and services. And if you work in natural resources, you might have some opportunity, but there's going to be the minority of the occupations in that city. Okay? So we continue also checking more information about the taxes and the federal personal income tax. It goes from bracket with the minimum of the first 48,535. People are taxed at the federal level with a 15%. And the provincial 
ta income tax will be for 44,740. They're going to be taxed at 5.05%. So, and then the brackets continue to increase based on the different uh, uh, ranges from salary and on salary. Okay. So if you want to check your taxes, this is a way to, to have an idea. Another key information for businesses and for people that would like to start businesses is you can check here that the provincial small business corporate is 3.5 percent in tax and other taxes related to the city we can continue also with information about the weather uh, we can see that january is probably the coldest uh, month in north bay with an average of minus 35.9 and february it's a little less with minus 24.9 normally february is the coldest um, month in most of canada but here in north bay because of how close it is to the lake it might have some difference in behavior when it comes to the weather and the temperature the snowfall you can tell you can tell here that the biggest month for snowfall in north bay is going to be in december followed by january so basically what would you get most of the snow in that time of the of the year and here is measured in centimeters, okay? And 70, 70 centimeters in December is, is a lot of snow. We we'll continue with more information here in the key metrics. And the average yearly rainfall is 1,134. Then you have the average yearly snowfall is 300 centimeters. And again, key information when it comes to temperature. Uh, your highest temperature is going to be 31 probably in summertime and your lowest temperature of course is going to be in minus 36 for the winter when it comes to ownership we can see that the majority of people in this city owns their home and their smaller amount is going to be renters okay the majority of those people that are living in, in housing live in three bedroom houses followed by the people that have houses with more, four or more bedrooms. So, interesting to know. And this is a very key information. Even though the city is situated between Toronto and Ottawa, uh, and you know that some prices, housing prices in Toronto might reach even more than a million dollars, Canadian dollars, here you can find an average pricing of 271508 dollars So, this is uh, way cheaper. To live in, in the city and remember it's gonna be three and a half hours from Ottawa and three hours from Toronto so it's basically in the middle of the, this major cities in Ontario so if housing is one of the key information for you well it's more accessible to live in this city the average rent is gonna be 944 and the number of homeowners is 13,760 number of renters is 8,855 and the most popular uh, dwelling size of course of we said before is a three bedroom okay so this is the information about the city and mode of transportation um, basically we can see here that most of the people in the city of Norway commute through the use of a car so they own some kind of vehicle and then the majority of them drive and commute with their own car or the family there's a car and then the rest is gonna become just vehicle passenger public transportation uh, this vehicle passenger will be uber and taxis and that kind of stuff so we can see here the distribution with the key metrics about transportation all right so when it comes to education the majority of the people have a high school uh, degree, people with no certificate, and then you have a no proportion with university degrees. And these are the, the major field of study of the population that are living in the city. And the biggest you can see, you have some people with engineering and related technology, and people with business, and of course, a healthcare related uh, field. And we come to businesses, of course, the majority of the business has less than four employees and so it's the majority of small businesses 
And again, these are the business industries that you can find. So if you have experience in one of those industries, for example, you're coming with the background in transportation, then you know the many the many businesses that are working in transportation. If you have inf uh, work experience in manufacturing, then you know that it's not if I companies or businesses that work in that industry. If you have experience in construction, then you know that there's around 377 businesses that are specialized in this kind of uh, industry. So again, you can see the number of businesses that are concentrated in those industries and you have a better idea of your opportunity as a worker. And again, the largest uh, industry by business count is will be real estate. If you have a background in real estate, then you have some opportunities here in North Bay. And when it comes to manufacturing, Narify uh, businesses are focused on manufacturing. Healthcare uh, businesses are, you have 432 businesses in North Bay that are focused on this industry, okay? Then we, and, and so on, continue with real estate businesses and mining. So basically this is the main information. This is the end of the lecture when it comes to demographic information and composition of the labor force about the city of North Bay. We'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.